So if you have a metal building, you probably have the same problem we do. And that is, you can't get your home Wi-Fi through the walls of your metal building. So, today we're gonna solve that problem. Hey there, hobby homesteaders, welcome back to Peaks Peak. Today, we are in the shop because I've got a cool upgrade to share with you. So guys, YouTube is a big part of our life. Not just because we have a channel and we create content and put it up on YouTube, but because we use YouTube to help us accomplish all of our DIY projects, we, uh, it's our Chilton's manual or our Haynes manual, if you will. When we're working on a motor or working on a car, trying to diagnose problems, everything we do, we go straight to YouTube to try and find the answer to whatever it is that we're trying to accomplish. Now, when we're in the shop, that's a little bit of a struggle because Wi-Fi will not go through these metal walls. And so if you have a metal building, you probably have the same problem we do. And that is, you can't get your home Wi-Fi through the walls of your metal building. So, today we're gonna to solve that problem. For under 200 bucks, we are going to install us a smart TV with internet out here in the shop, and we're gonna put that internet through a Wi-Fi router so that we have also Wi-Fi for our phones inside the shop. But we didn't run an ethernet cable from the house. I'll show you what we're gonna to use to get our internet going in here. So I picked up this off of Amazon. It is called a Powerline Network. And the way that this is supposed to work, I've never used one, is you plug it in, in your house, next to your router, plug an ethernet cable into this, and it's plugged directly into the wall. You cannot run this through a surge protector. And as long as your house shares electricity with whatever building you're sending your internet to, then this will work. So the way I wired this shop is I ran it through a sub panel. So it's not on a separate meter. I ran it uh, out of the main panel into the house into a sub panel in the shop. So it's feeding power from the same source. And that's how this works. It's gonna send my internet through the outlets. And I plug one of these into the wall in here in the shop, plug an ethernet cable into it, and I have live internet. Now, unfortunately, our TV doesn't have an ethernet port on it. So we still have to have Wi-Fi. So I had to pick up a Wi-Fi router to plug into this network. But picked this up for 40 bucks, got me a Wi-Fi router for 30 bucks. So for under $200, I'm going to have a smart TV working in the shop along with Wi-Fi for our phones. So let's get to work. So we decided we want it up here in the corner and I'll be able to drill a hole and run the wires down behind it to this outlet right here. So I built us just a little bit of a mount to hook our mount to, uh, kind of a false wall so that I can hook the mount and the TV will hang right out here in front of this. So let's get the TV up there. Caden, what are you working on, buddy? This power wash motor. Yeah, what are you doing with it? Taking it apart. Taking it apart. Caden is on a spare bolt scavenger hunt. And this is how you begin to learn to wrench. So he takes apart junk and saves all the bolts so that we have spare bolts. And he gets to use his tool set out of his orange toolbox. Are you having fun, Caden? Good deal. Good job, man. All right, guys, so we are getting closer. We got our structure put in. We got our mount up and our TV hanging. I drilled my hole for the wiring. I uh, went in and got a power strip for the Wi-Fi router and the TV to plug into. And then remember, we don't plug in the power line network to a surge protector. So if you get lightning struck, you may lose your power line network, but it wasn't that expensive. It won't work through a surge protector. So we'll get her all hooked up.
All right, guys. So we got our Roku TV installed, and we got our router hooked up. We got our power line network connected, and everything works fantastic. We are able to stream TV through all of that internet setup, and it all works perfectly. I wanted to give you just a quick rundown of how these products work, so I'll show you real quickly. Now, over here in the corner, we've got our power line network plugged in here with, and it's got an ethernet port on the bottom of it. So we run that ethernet port up to our router, which we've got set up behind the TV over here. I'll show you that. And then inside the house, there is another one of these little square boxes and they're identical. No big deal. It doesn't even matter which one you use where, I don't think. The other one is plugged into the wall in the house next to our modem, uh, our router from the cable company. And we've got an ethernet cable ran from that router into the power line network in there. And I didn't have to do anything special to set it up. I literally plugged these things in turned on the Wi-Fi router and connected to it and instantly I had internet. Super simple to use and I've not had any buffering. I've got a good picture on the TV here. It's streaming my YouTube channel here just fine. So it's gonna be great here for the shop. Just a, a great solution for this kind of setup. So I just wanted to share this product with you and explain how it works because when I was planning out my shop, I intended to run an ethernet cable because I knew the Wi-Fi inside the middle building would be a problem. I didn't know that this product existed. And I went searching for a solution because I forgot to run that ethernet cable. And I wasn't coming up with any good solutions. And then I came across this power line network and seems to be working great, super simple to connect. And the power line network, the one that I bought was I think, uh, 1300 megabits per second. Not crazy fast, but plenty fast enough to stream YouTube, which is what we wanna do out here. And it was 40 bucks. That being said, with the TV, we still had to get a Wi-Fi router to go along with that, which was another 30 bucks in order to get set up and running. But that's part of why I went with kind of a smaller TV just to keep the price down. I didn't wanna spend a fortune on this, but I was out here actually working on rebuilding this engine. Um, the Kawasaki KX65 engine. And I was referring to a video, a fantastic video, I think it's Hazard Garage put out on all the different things that you need to do when you're rebuilding the engine. And I kept referring to that on my phone while I was using assembly lube and everything else. So I was getting it all over my phone and I thought, man, we've gotta have a way to get YouTube up there on the TV where we can do this kind of stuff and watch the video while we're working. And that's what we went with. So we got the TCL 32 inch Roku TV and we just bought a cheap router and the cheap power line network and we are up and running. It makes it feel more and more like a dream garage to us. So hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it useful. This may be just what you need to get internet out in your metal building. So appreciate y'all watching. Y'all have a good day. Now I thought we had trouble keeping up with remotes in the house. I'm guessing this is gonna be a nightmare.